Hello again, friends. Many of us appreciate the 12 steps of Alcoholics Anonymous, and particularly the first three steps. We admitted that we were powerless over our dependency and that our life had become unmanageable. We came to believe that a power greater than ourselves could restore us to sanity. And we turned our will and our life over to the care of God as we understood him. In shorter terms, it's, I can't, God can, I'll let him. It's just that stop and take a breath moment where we remind ourselves in God's presence that we can't do life on our own and that God is with us to do what is necessary. That all important part of the equation, though, the turning of our will on this situation over to God and trusting in his care, that's often the toughest part. Jesus bumped into a broken down woman one day by a well when he was passing through the area where she lived. She's a woman of ill repute and in the course of his conversation with her, Jesus lets her know that he knows all about how chaotic and unmanageable her life has been and how she is powerless to fix herself. He offers her the only solution to her problem, life through him. It's as they converse that she comes to believe that Jesus really is a power greater than herself and that his love and forgiveness and acceptance could make her whole. Her response? She runs back to the village where people looked at her with shame and said this, Come see a man who told me all that I ever did. Can this be the Christ? Many Samaritans from that town believed in him because of that woman's testimony. He told me all that I ever did. Heavenly Father, we believe that there is something about the reality of your grace in our personal stories of transformation that wakes others up and provides an opportunity for them to encounter your love as well. Help us to come to you today with whatever our story looks like. Whether we're beaten down by our failures or living hidden behind things we hope no one will ever find out, we pray today to come to you and admit that our lives are broken. We're sinners in need of forgiveness and healing. We can't fix ourselves. We need you to sort us out. Lord, tell us about our past from your perspective. We need to hear the truth, but hear it within your voice of love and grace. Hold us close to your heart while you reveal our true selves to us and do your work of saving, healing, and transforming in us. God, we can't. You can. Today we will let you. Amen. Well, it's worth repeating one more time. We can't. God can. Today, let's let him.